about population explosion in Lagos. Yeah. Find out who are in Lagos. Every young person who graduated from school wants to come over to Lagos. Yes. So there's a body on Lagos. That's why it's called the center of excellence. But the, 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 you, when you have it's that not called center of body. <laughs> if you if you if, if I live in Lagos yeah. and pay my taxes in Lagos, mm. and then you you take my allocation as in Nigeria and I send to my home state, mm -hmm. where the things I need to survive are supposed to be in Lagos. That's part of what the argument Lagos is saying. Mm -hmm. You don't take people's allocation. I'm from Anambra State. Mm -hmm. I can tell you the number of Anambra people who live here. Of course. And then when the government is doing allocation, you send our allocation to Anambra State. Mm -hmm. yeah, so what happens? We are in Lagos. Lagos only gets its own allocation. Mm. There were people who argue about IGR. Somebody made IGR in Lagos to come up. Mm. Why are people not also making their own IGR? It's in some state they are not even collecting anything because they are comfortable. People don't pay anything. But the truth is that what is happening in Lagos is a failure of other of states. Other states. That, that's exactly what the problem is. Go to the hospitals and you see. Mm. Upon what Fashola has done with the general hospitals in Lagos. Go and check it. My wife just put to bed some days ago. I don't go to private hospital, I go to mother and child because of what they did with the facility they provided. Mm. But the situation now is that we're having too many people. Too much. The population, the population is, is increasing every day. That's, that's true. That's true. It's, it, it's, it's an error that we created Abuja as capital, then we abandoned Lagos. Mm. There should have been an arrangement where the federal government takes responsibility. Largely to what happened in Lagos okay. because most of the things in Lagos are actually federal properties. Okay, all right, Dr. Fusaya. Yeah, uh, the truth about this matter is that is I, firstly, I don't know the yastic they use in them. <laughs> the mention, the mention, the mention, the education, education, healthcare, healthcare infrastructure. I think how I accommodation, the, housing I, should be I in there as well. It's, yeah. it's, uh, uh, there is a uh, accuracy in that aspect. Mm. But if you look at it uh, critically, truly, uh, Lagos State is overpopulated. That is one of the reasons. Overpopulated because the resources that is meant for people in Lagos State is more than the people living there. Secondly, Lagos State is overcrowded. What's the difference? It, there is difference. That is the landscape. We are talking, we are talking about overcrowded. We are talking about the landscape. The people are even more than the landscape. Mm -hmm. There are some people that are sleeping under the bridge. Mm -hmm. Some people are sleeping beside the road. There is no space for them. I get it. And truly, when I travel to some countries as well, in South Africa, some people sleep on the road. Mm -hmm. in, New York. In, the, in the New York. But that of, the, of Lagos State is shown to the, to the, to the world. Mm -hmm. I get it. And the and idea of the idea of the, yeah, the, the idea of <laughs> Now. You agree, Akogo? Yes. You agree they have their own. They have their own. Yeah. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot when it comes to that. So, is the second biggest problem in the US. Now, there is what they call it. of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Environmental hazard. While I was coming, you know, the cars are too much on the road. <laughs> now, the flames is coming out mm. from one place to the other and it's reducing the lifespan of people. Thank you. That yeah, is a yeah, very yeah. good point you just raised. Yes. There. Even the government is not looking, looking at, at, at that. pollution. Pollution. Air pollution. Air pollution is too much. Mm. It's too much. And it's affecting us. It's mm. affecting our health. Mm. So government should do more about this. Okay. Lagos State mm. government is they are is trying. Mm. But they have to do more about this. Okay. I'll follow. I don't know how to attack all this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I came to Lagos. Uh, with, a, with my body suit hmm. full of blood, hmm. a maternity hospital, and I'm an the boy, so I'm affected in so many ways. <laughs> you are part of the statistics. Uh, <laughs> 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 so this is the one, the one, most populated place. I was born, I was born in Lagos, and I grew up at Ushuri, and I live at Abuja. Hmm. So that makes me whatever they are saying is about me, hmm. and it's not true. <laughs> Uh, one million people enter Lagos every day. 90% of them don't go back. Every mm. day, that means 900,000 people stay back mm -hmm. in the geographical expression. When I come greater Lagos, that includes Mugwe, Ibafo, Kurudu, all those access uh, that are now busting at the seams. Mm. And Nigeria is an unfair federation. Mm. It's unfair because they expect 
somebody to spend 50 naira to take care of something that will cost 500 naira. I pity the government of Lagos, cause, and I pity the last three governors, really, because the more money they make, the more money they spend, and it doesn't seem to be enough. Mm. I delivered a lecture in London that caused the problem over 10 years ago, and I said, the first mistake we made as a nation, like you said, is when we are planning Abuja, we are not planning a link, mm -hmm. road, rail, whatever we can use mm. to make sure that the pressure on Lagos will come down. Mm. Yeah, I think they are addressing that now, mm. but it will still not be enough. We just me. left, let's leave this madness. Yes, and and because if you are making provision for 20 million people, and at the end of the year you now have 25 million, no matter how fantastic the plan was, who you're already work? 5 work? million on that deficit. Yeah. Who work? And it goes around in circles. And I keep saying, if you keep pretending that the Lagos problem is a Yoruba problem, or a South West problem, it will get to a point that will realize that someday, somewhere, all of us will pay the price. Because yeah. the only thing keeping Nigeria alive today is Lagos. Because yeah. Lagos is the only one still offering hope yeah. that you can make it in this country. Yeah. Once that is lost, we are finished. We are on our own. Yeah. So the report is really not a reflection yeah. of the current reality. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a little bit biased. Because like I said, you know I travel all over the world. And there are things they are accusing us of that you don't get in Times Square. Mm. Or you don't get in Fifth Avenue at Russia. Mm. Or even in Tokyo, the most choked city in the world. You never see a report like this. There are, or in Hong Kong, where there is no space. That at the given time, <laughs> between you and I, mm. is about less than a meter. Mm. And they have to go up. Because there is no more room. Yeah, room, room to go. Line. Yeah, exactly. You never hear this report. Mm. And you don't talk about India. Mm. Where Delhi is the <laughs> biggest slum in the world. Mm. Or Rio, that was only cleaned mm. before mm. the World Cup four years ago. Yes. And I give you fantastic examples fantastic, of fantastic, the world. Yeah, yeah. But people pick on Lagos. Because Lagos, because Lagos is That's why that, that uh, person <laughs> who was talking about Abuja shows the shallowness yes. of those who run our government. Lagos is. Because Lagos okay. is paying the price of Abuja. Yes. Mm. Not because Abuja is paying the price of Lagos. Mm. And it's already becoming a slum. We had a ladder. Uh, the Labe mm. Airport Road, yeah. uh, fantastic slum areas mm. in Abuja already. So when people are talking, I just laugh. But like I said, politically, yeah. But I don't think it's something the government should lose sleep over. Okay. Mm. So yes. My only danger is that this will cost them, because they're spending so much money attracting tourism. Mm. Mm. This will damage it. Okay. Yes, that's it. You should do more. And mm. about health as well. Mm. They should do more about health. Mm. Because you will see some health workers, they talk to people anyhow in the hospital. General hospital, for, for example, they will talk to you like CEO. Well, that's a function okay. of upbringing. Up bring, up bring it's they don't need to now. talk that's to a, them. It's a function yeah. of upbringing. Like yes. A lack of discipline of the... And they have well, to respond they, to people look at, look, at we, look at what we discussed earlier. An IG to be the president, not in airport. He said another person gave an order. Less than two hours, he has taken action. Hmm. It is a matter of knowing there will be consequences. We are, a, we are a country where we don't fear or afraid of consequences. Consequence, because because so there is no consequence. Mm. I'm telling you, no matter what they say about us, should do anything. The moment fashion are decided, I'm going to clean this up. It will happen to you it overnight. Did. Okay, let's see how the viewers are reacting. Kayode says, if infrastructure continuously commensurates with the level of population, we will have it well. Fashola helped us, but his successors are taking us back. Mm. Hmm. Okay, the youths in the streets, uh, give them employment. Sylvester from Edo State says, All right, good afternoon. My name is Olamide, Olamile Khan. Uh, my opinion is that... Mm. Ola, I can't read your message. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, Essien, Essien from Calabar says, I'm so happy for this new development. God bless our acting president. Mm. I wish you were a president because you have the vision. All right, I think this is one is still commenting on the Fair SARS topic. Asia. Uh, Ezekiel Sawa says, uh, Lagos is a beautiful place to live in. Lagos is a city of hope. God bless Lagos State. Yes, yeah, so it's a city of hope, yes. or, which is why a lot of people migrate from everywhere yes, yeah. in the country to come to. As we speak, I'm sure there are some people in some villages under the mango tree planning how they will come, come to, Lagos. to Lagos. You know That's what I mean? Yes, the last one, uh, <laughs> there 50,000 people already in Lagos. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, because what I wanted to say before we move on is that 
people, mm. especially foreigners, mm. need to understand what Lagos means to us. Mm. Lagos is beyond just a city. Yeah. Yeah. Lagos is an attitude. Mm. So if they are looking at Lagos from their own point of view, they won't get it. I know about even some white people who are in Lagos who have refused to go home. Mm. One of them is Pascal Ot, the guy who was at a French, uh, the French school in Lagos. Mm. He's been here for God knows how long. There, there's more to Lagos mm. than the infrastructure they are looking at. It's a spirit, it has, like people say. Yes, we carry the spirit of Lagos. <laughs> the spirit of Lagos. Okay. And the person that talked well about um, Quickly. Dr. Amber, the government yeah. is really trying uh, on infrastructure. Okay, oh, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a topic for another day. <laughs> discussion. <laughs> All right, we have one more topic to look at before we go this afternoon. Donald Duke speaks on Senate. Uh, the former governor of Cross River State and presidential aspirant Donald Duke has categorically stated that the Senate won't find peace until former governors stop making it a retirement home. Now, we'll have to make our contributions as brief as possible because of time. Akogu? Uh, he has his opinion. He's free. Mm. Well, where do you expect a governor who cannot be president to go? It's self-preservation. Mm. Well, how many senators have you, have, you, have you seen in prison? That place provides them with a retirement. It's, it's a buffer. <laughs> yeah, so basically, yeah. Those, those who are outside can be harassed. Mm. Mm. People who want to harass you as a senator will think twice. Mm. So it's just kind of, where do you want him to go? He has been in office for eight years. He has had executive power mm. for eight years. Mm. And then he has able to go back home and be rubbished by one little boy. Mm. If he doesn't like it, you can go. Nobody stops him. Mm -hmm. But having said that, I think we need to look beyond uh, politics. We are talking about serious issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Dr. Tosoy. Our apologies um, in Nigeria is not good enough. Uh, like maybe some months ago, we had that 21 senators that have been that formerly mm. uh, uh, governors in their mm. states. They are collecting double. They, they are giving. The, they gave them double, double salary. Uh, double salary, that of the senators and also the government. Mm. The governors. It's not, as double, governors. It's not double salary. It's, not, it's, a, it's, it's a pension. It's a life what pension. They give them life pension. They are two different. They, 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 they collect their salary and the life pension. Uh, but but yeah. can, can we come down to the question? You know that might come to the minds of Nigerians, which is that you have served as the governor. Must the Senate become? That's that's what I'm saying. Know, because where every an, governor has hierarchy. to achieve. There's an hierarchy, and when you look at it in the states, go into, yeah. governor is even uh, he has a position. Yeah than the senators. Uh -huh. But they believe they don't want to leave that down the policy. They, want, power. they don't want to leave power. As it were. As okay. it were. All right, Chooks, <laughs> let's hear your take. I quickly. think the problem, I'll, I'll make it quick. The problem uh -huh. we we'll have with, I've always said the National Assembly, the problem we we'll have is that the politics we play today, the governors in the state decides who becomes anything, including mm -hmm. who goes to the Senate. So that's, that's where we are. I've always complained that if people like late Ghani Faimi, instead of trying to become president, have mm -hmm. gone to the Senate. If we even have people like, uh, what's the Sowore who wants to be president, go to mm -hmm. the House of Rep. Why, why are we not having people? You can make impacts there. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, I think sometimes you find brilliant minds that you are thinking this guy should be good here, but he's facing the other way. Mm -hmm. I think that's how this thing kept going down. Mm -hmm. Minus the, the, I don't know what, the, the, the era of Okadibos in the Senate and all those were very mm -hmm. sound guys. Mm -hmm. You see, we are, we are going down, gradually going down, and it's, it will keep going down until something happens. Maybe the idea of direct primaries by the APC might change some of these things, because where you say you are doing, uh, what do you call them? Uh, delegates. So some people just come. Now, now it's every card carry yeah. member yes. should vote who votes. Vote. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's, that's because we start from the primaries mm. to solve it. Or else the former governors and all those ones will have their way. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Our time is almost up. Let's look at viewers' uh, comment again. Uh, Sunday from Abuli Egba. Good day, sir. Ma. Lagos would have been one of the best cities, but due to the scrap of waste management officials, Lagos is now more dirty compared to any other thing. Our advice is excellency to bring back the WMO and the monthly Saturday. What's WMO? W uh, waste okay. management okay. officer. Okay. All right. And the monthly sanitation. Also, in terms of security, something needs to be done. 
thank you. This other one says Lagos is the best city in the world. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Emmanuel from Portacot. Uh, I suggest start. Okay, I don't want to read anymore on, on SARS. Yes, okay. Mm. Uh, the worst city I've noticed is Agege. Are you serious? Is yeah. that <laughs> is Agege a city like that? It is a city. <laughs> like that inside of Lagos. All right, that's as much as our time would permit. Uh, thank you so very much. Yesterday, I was going home, and uh, this man in, a, in his uniform was it an NSC DC uniform stopped me and said, "Madam, you never read my message." <laughs> I <can't> say, <laughs> I apologize to him, but I apologize on national TV to any other person who is feeling like that. We get too many, and we just have one hour. You know, uh, I'm sorry, it's not a deliberate thing. Thank you so much, Akogun Ganikayo for coming. Thank you, Doctor Femi Tusoya. Thank you, Chuck Suwani. Thank you for always coming on the show, and thank you, viewers, for your time. We'll be back tomorrow at noon. Join us then. Bye for